Hey guys, yeah. this is Remington. Uh, Remington is a five-year-old unregistered, I call him a quarter horse, um, but he's not. He stands on, he is actually barefoot. He's barefoot on four feet. He's 14.2 hands tall, five-year-old. He's a Perlino. Talk to you a little bit about his breed. Um, I sold this horse, I think, two years ago, maybe three. I can't remember. He was really young. He was two or three years old. I can't remember how long it's been. But I sold him to a lady, and I told her that he had only been rolled a few times or whatever it was, but I sold him to be a Kentucky Mountain Saddle Horse. That's what he is. Um, and over the years, I've lost track of him. You know, I sell a lot of horses, so I can't keep track of all of them. Um, but she did reach out to me from time to time and told me how good he was doing and that, uh, you know, that she appreciated me and all that stuff and absolutely had nothing bad to say about him and just loved him. Um, and, and he was, at the time that I had him, I remember him being broke to a cart then. Um, that's how they started this horse. They started him in a buggy. A lot of people do that. Um, anyway, so he's got a lot of buggy, buggy experience. Um, <clears throat> I do not remember much about him when I had him the first time. Um, she sent him back to me to sell. She broke her back or whatever it was um, and uh, had to get rid of him. And she's like, Emerson, can you help me sell my horse? You know, I bought him from you. Uh, he's a good one. And I was like, yeah, you know, he's Kentucky Mountain Horse. We'll take you back here. We'll sell him. And I get him here and he just trots and lopes. Um, and I was like, okay, what? Does he not gate? And I asked her, and she's like, "No, we never did. You know, we never did gate him." So I, I don't remember him gating when I had him because I just don't remember the horse. So I wasn't for sure if maybe he was a quarter horse. I can't remember. Um, but I did. I do remember my cog said a Kentucky Mountain. I wouldn't do that unless I knew. So I kind of found that odd. <clears throat> but anyway, she didn't carry the way. You know, she just, they used him for buggies and parades and things like that and just absolutely loved him just how he was. Um, and just let him trot and canter and lope and do the things like a quarter horse would. So she was happy with just how he was. Um, this horse comes back to me and we start evaluating him. I spend maybe a week, maybe two weeks on him, evaluating him real hard. And one of the reasons it took me so long is because I knew, I didn't want to misrepresent him. That's so I said, this horse has to be gated. I can tell by looking at him, he's a gated horse. Just his confirmation alone tells me he's gated. This, he don't look like a quarter horse. And uh, and I sold him to be a gated horse, so I was like, I don't, I just can't remember his horse. I can't find any videos of him or anything, but he's got to be gated. And I kept messing around with him, messing around with him, and about three days into it, he took her out off, started gating a little bit, just here and there. Just enough to prove that I knew 100% sure he was a gated horse. I don't want to. I don't want to get on here and say, guys, he, he's a gated horse. You know, but you know they call him a quarter horse. I don't want to do that. And then somebody say, well, Emerson, I want to hire you to train him to gate. That would scare me to death. If if he don't gate, then there I am. So before I get on here and sell him to be a gated horse, I want to make sure he is a gated horse. So that being said, uh, guys, this horse is very gentle. He's very broke. Absolutely, anybody can ride him. They could then when he was a baby, when he was young and just started. He was so gentle, docile, in your pocket. I mean, had the right kind of training on him then, and she's had him for a couple of years, done everything in the world with him. She, she still says he's absolutely the same horse and broke, obviously even better, more experience. This is a good gentle horse. If gated is your thing, you're a diehard on gate. I can train this horse to gate. I'm willing to accept that challenge. I mean, it's gonna be, to my opinion, it's gonna be easy. Um, within a week, I think I could get him gating, get him started on it. <clears throat> Gating is a big old subject. It's not really something that we you teach. Well, it is. It ain't really something that you make them do. Um, you know, gated is something that they're that it's in their blood. They they either do it or they don't. But if you don't know how to ride and ask for it, if you don't know how to ask for it, let's say that if you don't know how to ask for the gate, on some of them they just won't do it. They'll just trot, or lope, or whatever. Um, so you have to kind of set their gate. Let's put it that way. Um, I can do that if that's what you want to do. But anyways, guys, he's 14.2 hands tall. Currently, you're going to see him trot and lope around in here. Um, you're going to see him gate just a little bit. I was not even asking him to. <coughs> Excuse me. We're trying to make him gate. 
he just does it. You can't stop him really. He'll just do it on his own if you if you ride him up. Emerson's tall. <clears throat> and I'd say that they, they probably felt that a time or two and really didn't know really what they was feeling. But this horse will gate on his own. Um just gonna know how to ask him for it. Anyways, guys, he's broke, he's safe, he's gentle, he's pretty, he's a Perlino, he's not no cream ale or anything like that. This is a Perlino, absolutely gorgeous, um, gentle, smooth horse. He's not white. Those of y'all that, that that's you know worried about sunburns and all that, he's not. Go look at that Perlino horses. They, you know the pigment they got pigment in their skin. They don't sunburn like a white horse would unless they had like a big blaze face, a white blaze face or something like that. And he don't. Um, this horse will be fine anywhere you take him. Um, just beautiful horse, guys. Uh, broke for buggies, uh, everything else. Plum good one, guys. My evaluation of him, he's excellent. Um, I think he's broke for anybody. Her evaluation says the same. Um, so here he is, guys. I don't think you can mess up. But uh, Kentucky Mountain Quarter Horse, whatever you want to call him, um, he'll do both. So there you go, guys.
didn't bother him a bit. 